Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting down today to film like kind of part two. You don't need to have seen the other one to see this video, but I did a big like baby girl clothing haul since I'm currently, I just turned 24 weeks pregnant yesterday with our first little girl. So I'm doing a lot of little girl shopping, which is literally like I'm having the time of my life <laughs> doing all of this shopping. Little girl stuff is so cute. We have a little boy, um, if you're not familiar. So I've done the whole boy thing and I love boy clothes too, but girl stuff is just like a whole nother level. So um, we're actually sitting in the nursery right now. As you can probably tell, a nursery tour reveal <laughs> is definitely in the works. That last video, which I can link down below for y'all, um, was basically just like one brand. <laughs> I intended it to be like a big haul and then it took forever to unbox all that stuff. So I will link that down below. It wasn't like sponsored or anything like that, but I did like a really, really, really big order and it took up the whole video. So in today's video, um, I have kind of a mixture of stuff as opposed to that one. My glasses have like, oh, that's a huge smudge. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be kind of a mixture of stuff. Um, I will link that video, like I said, if y'all want to check that out. But I'm going to have Buford Bonnet in this video. And again, none of this is sponsored or sent to me or anything like that. I was so excited to place these orders though, so I bought all this myself. Um, I have some Buford Bonnet, I have some H&M, some cotton on. And then some random stuff like honestly there's a lot so i probably won't show all of this but i'm gonna try to go through it <laughs> as quickly as i can i need to um do this haul so i can kind of like divvy stuff up and <laughs> kind of put things where they go also are my glasses annoying i prefer to wear them but i feel like in the video <laughs> they're kind of annoying one thing i did want to mention that is not linkable at all for obvious reasons but my mom actually found she said she doesn't think this is the outfit i wore home but it was one of my like first couple outfits and how freaking retro is this <laughs> this is actually like buford bonnet literally makes like bubbles and rompers and onesies and stuff very much in this kind of like throwback like retro sort of vibe i was born in the early 90s so that's when this is from and like this is exactly something buford bonnet would sell with like the kind of ruffles and just this like very retro kind of style with the stitching and just like the bubble effect like the super bubbly sleeves so this was mine when I was a couple months old, there's like a couple little stains on it, but and it's like very pilled up, but it's in decent quality or in decent condition. And there's like the matching little um, <laughs> like footies and then this little bonnet that goes with it, which I'm surprised that she still had this. So I'm going to try to wash this and maybe we'll just use that for like pictures or something at some point. But I thought that was the funniest thing. So anyway, that's sort of uh, like the vibe that we're going for with this haul. Buford Bonnet, um, if you're not familiar, kind of like the last haul I did that was all Kate Quinn stuff. It's definitely a little bit more on like the pricey side, but I feel like their stuff is very unique and very uh, just high quality. You can tell just by kind of like touching it and it's all just so, so cute. They have again kind of like throwback sort of styles and the stuff is just so cute so i'm going to run through this stuff really quick hopefully everything is still in stock i feel like with the sales going on this summer and stuff like that things have just been coming in and out of stock like crazy so i will link everything that i'm mentioning down below if i can and without further ado let's jump into it this is the most darling little thing this is kind of what i mean by buford bonnet they sort of have like just like how retro like i feel like this tag looks like it's from the early 90s you know what i mean like i feel like my baby clothes would have something like that but it's got this really cute like ruffle collar detail and then kind of like bubbly sleeves with a little like elasticized wrist and there's like piping on the end of the wrist i feel like again this is sort of like retro kind of looking like vintage sort of style with the print and just the design and this material is really nice it's a little bit stretchy very like smooth and buttery soft and like pretty lightweight like it has it has weight to it in the sense of i feel like it's a nice material but it's not like too heavy they feel like they're gonna be comfortable to wear but also just like very breathable you're definitely gonna see a lot of like <laughs> christmasy things in here i actually got some stuff for her to match my son which i'm excited about and i just picked up this pair of <laughs> they call them slacks but they're just basically like little leggings and I loved this blue color. And actually this is a very <laughs> similar blue, but I could not resist this little freaking crew neck. This is, what size is this? This is zero to six, which I feel like usually things are like zero to three or three to six. So I guess <laughs> this could go like any time in the first six months, but this is kind of like a chunky knit little crew neck sweater. Their tags I think are just so cute. I love the collar and like the little cat with the bow on it and it's kind of like 3D like this is actually like 
kind of like crocheted on here so it just feels really nice it looks cute i like all the like stitch detailing on it it's kind of like a little bit cinched in the waist so stinking cute i feel like with little jeans or something <laughs> that'll just be like the cutest little crew neck to throw on her this is um the little matching moment <laughs> any opportunity that i have especially while they're young and they're like they have no choice kind of but to do it as long as they're young i'm gonna have them match like, whenever i can get away with it or whenever i can find things that they have like a little toddler and like a little baby like boy and girl matching little situation so i got some more because <laughs> i can literally not resist so this is for my son this is just like a little santa like little pj set this one doesn't have any feet on it and it's just like navy and red like obviously with the santas and stuff and <laughs> what i think is so cute is look at the little freaking butt flap it doesn't actually like open or anything but again i feel like that's kind of like retro like old school sort of style pjs and is hilarious and just the cutest little touch so this is his and then hers is basically the same except i literally died because look at the freaking like button thing that goes over the zipper i feel like literally every single pair of pjs has that in the world but i've never seen one with it in like a bow form and i think that's so cute i didn't even know that was there when i ordered this i just ordered it because it would match but i'm literally dead so it's basically the same pattern i think the only difference is obviously the pink and obviously the bow and then this santa has like a pink hat with like little like mistletoe or holly or whatever and i don't think oh no this santa does have the like mistletoe too so i guess it's literally just the like piping and the hat color is different so they're like the same but this is just the girly version and i think it's so cute it has a little freaking butt flap <laughs> with the pink outline I mean, hello, if you can resist this, then I'm impressed by you. However, this looks tiny. I mean, this is zero to three. She'll be like probably about eight weeks old, nine weeks old around Christmas. But I mean, like this looks tiny. I don't have tiny babies, so I don't know if it's like pretty stretchy or what. Well, I just feel like girl clothes run a lot smaller than boy clothes. Like I don't remember his clothes being that like narrow so we'll see and then i actually ended up getting that same pattern this is another zero to six the like kind of girly pattern and this is just kind of like a crew neck sort of pullover this is like a really stretchy kind of like bouncy material it's basically the same print it's got the pink all around it it's not like fleecy or anything on the inside it's more of like kind of a terry cloth in there and i feel like this might be like a little oversized for the age she's gonna be when it is like christmas time but i also feel like that can be kind of cute like an oversized like crew neck or sweatshirt with some leggings or something i feel like that can be kind of adorable so she has the pjs and then also <laughs> the little like pullover i have a lot of christmas clothes because if y'all don't know my she and my son have the exact same due date like the exact same due date october 22nd he was born two days later so his birthday is the 24th but they're gonna be like basically the exact same age in terms of size clothes just two years apart so i have a lot of christmas stuff left from him but i don't like have a lot of girly christmas stuff so i'm picking up just a couple more like girly kind of pieces here and there to incorporate into her christmas wardrobe speaking of which <laughs> this is another thing again these are like so tiny but this is a little christmas set of pjs like another little sleeper oh i don't think i showed the zero to three month by the way for her this pair of pjs has feet but my son's which i think i got in a 2t or a 3t that didn't have feet obviously because they're walking but um the younger ones like the infant ones do have feet and they do have um the little grippies on them and they have like the logo i don't know if you can tell because i feel like it's kind of subtle but it has like the logo emblem and then the kind of like branding on there which is cute these are so stinking cute too i still feel like it's kind of like a retro sort of like design on here but it has the bow <laughs> little class again i just feel like the design on here is still kind of vintagey and throwback but i love that it's like a christmas design just like kind of a wintry christmas design but it's not like screaming christmas colors it's like pink and blue and like light green and again it has a little butt flap <laughs> with the pink on it and then um the same kind of thing on the little feeties so cute and these do obviously zipper all the way down so cute so that's what i mean i'm just kind of incorporating a little bit more christmas girliness into her life um and this is the same as well this is another christmas piece but do you see how like tiny i don't know hopefully her little belly will squeeze into these <laughs> but this is um one more little christmas sleeper and this is obviously a lot more christmasy this is honestly pretty i mean other than the bow i feel like this is a pretty gender neutral pattern it's just green and it has like ornaments and 
little postcards. Again, I still feel like it very much has like the kind of retro like little designs to it. I don't know if that's just me, but I love that. But I like that this is a little bit more Christmassy and definitely a little bit more neutral. But that bow just like changes everything. Like I, I literally cannot get over that and again it has a little butt flap and the little feeties so yeah between <laughs> my like last or like two hauls ago and now I feel like I have a good number of like girly Christmas PJs for her which I'm so excited about because she's gonna be born like right before Halloween and then it's November which is Christmas time so she's gonna be able to start wearing this Christmas stuff pretty much right away because we start Christmas like the day after Halloween in this house <laughs> so She'll definitely get a lot of use out of this stuff. This little jumper dress is literally the most darling thing ever. I actually had two things I canceled from this order, which I'm really sad about. There was another little jumper dress like this and a pair of shorts for my son, and they must have, like, sold out or whatever. But how cute is this? Oh, my gosh. Again, I feel like this is something my mom would have bought for me, like, something I would have worn in the 90s. Kind of, like, a high-neck little just, like, pullover little dress. And I love this, like, green and pink little like plaid pattern and then this is like a corduroy like a ribbed material with these like little pockets the little button detail and then it has the big buttons the same as those all the way down the back or like the top part of the back how precious is this i love it i said this in my last video too but i have just been so enjoying purchasing from i guess kind of like smaller companies like this or maybe just like slightly lesser known companies as opposed to like you know old navy and target and amazon and stuff like that just because i feel like i'm finding more of those brands now that i'm having a girl i feel like a lot of this stuff just kind of like leans a little bit more girly even though they do sell boy stuff so i am like still getting stuff for my son as you saw but i feel like you more stumble upon them when you're buying girl stuff especially if you're like seeing them advertised for on instagram or people you're watching are like sharing them i feel like it's a lot more kind of girlier type products but i'm loving getting to kind of like dabble in other brands because i feel like they just have stuff that's just so unique and just different from the stuff you would just buy from just like carters and you know old name and stuff like that and i feel like the quality is just really there too obviously you pay more for it but this just feels so nice and heavy duty and obviously hoping that, you know, we have more children in the future. Like these are things we could pass down or to, you know, nieces and nephews and stuff like that. I just feel like these are the kind of things that hold up really well and they're just different than like the things you would see on like, you know, every other kid's website. So that's what I love. And then last but not least for the Buford bonnet, this is, I don't know if they call this, I think they call it, yeah, a buggy blanket. So like a stroller or like a car seat type of blanket and they had so many cute ones i honestly had a hard time picking and honestly the last thing this girl needs is more baby blankets but i wanted to try one of theirs out and honestly this is really really nice and really cute i feel like this would make like a really good gift for someone um it is like a baby size so i don't know if you'll be able to tell but this is about how wide it is and how long so it's definitely like a baby blanket type of size but I love this pattern again I feel like it's kind of like old-fashioned old-school kind of style and it has like the kind of ruffle all along the piping and then the back is just all pink so it's kind of like a little bit double-sided and then they have um, just like their kind of like patch branding on the one corner and so it is like double lined like it's two pieces of material so it has some like thickness and weight to it it's not like overly like lightweight but it's also not overly heavy so i feel like this honestly would be like the perfect kind of like stroller car seat sort of blanket just because it i feel like would provide warmth when you need it but also it's not like fuzzy or you know fleecy so i don't think it would be like overly hot if you were using it kind of like in the spring and the fall and stuff like that so I love it. I just think it's so pretty. Again, it's just like a little bit unique and different. And it's lightweight since she's going to be like a fall, you know, winter baby. I have a lot of like warmer, kind of cozy, fuzzy blankets and not many um, just kind of like lighter weight ones like this for her. So I think this will be cute also just like lay out for pictures and just kind of lay on on the floor, things like that. So yeah, that is my Beaufort Bonnet stuff. Like I said, not a ton, but some really good stuff that I'm super excited about. Um, and I have like a huge, huge bin here. Like this is, <laughs> this is a big full bin. And this is just stuff that I kind of am like in the process of processing. Usually I put stuff in here that like needs to be washed because pretty much everything that I've purchased or that 
I've like passed down from my son for her to use that's pretty neutral is already washed and folded and like hung like everything's ready to go so this band I keep stuff that like is up next so I'll run through just like some of the stuff in here H&M and cotton on mostly I think and then I have a couple other random things this I'm so excited about though this is from H&M this is in a uh, four to six or I guess six months there's like so many different sizes on these tags i want this like i literally want like a little trench coat so bad <laughs> so when i saw this i had to grab it for kind of like the fall slash winter i just love the little peter pan collar and like the double buttons it kind of like flares out a little bit it's like you know kind of like overlapping like a true like trench coat and even the like print on the inside is so pretty with the flowers so I just think this is like the sweetest, most darling little thing with like a little pair of jeans. I actually recently picked these up. These are just from Target, like the Cat and Jack brand, but I got her like some little ruffle butt, <laughs> little like kind of jeggings. They have like little pockets in the back and they have like pockets on the front, but they have kind of like some fray detailing. So I don't know. I feel like even that could be like <laughs> such a cute little outfit. So anything with a ruffle on the butt I will literally purchase so don't even have to tell me twice but <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab randomly because there's really no rhyme or reason to this bin here these pair of shorts are from cotton on I've actually placed a couple cotton on like baby orders over the last probably like six months I never shopped there when my son was younger and then I realized how cute their stuff is and it's honestly like reasonably priced but it's it's pretty good quality so I've been checking out their site more often and <laughs> everything is so cute look at these little shorts they're, they feel almost like kind of like a nylon, but sort of like a linen material. I'm just such a sucker, as you can probably tell right now, for sort of just like this floral, sort of retro just kind of look. And I just thought the colors of this were so cute. So like I said, those are from Cotton On. So is this. I needed a couple more like onesie little sleepers. And I've never bought any um, like PJs from Cotton On. But these are nice. They've got a good amount of stretch. They're definitely really soft. They have like the fold over little mittens. And I love this little print and a good bunch of different color pinks and the florals and then it's got the little footies I love their like tags like I feel like they you know are just like cute <laughs> with the font and everything I really need to like organize the sizing situation in here because there's everything is just freaking piled in here I actually thought these were nice and I'm usually not like a huge fan of the cloud island clothing at Target I usually just don't love the material I actually originally bought a ton of stuff like that for my son when he was first born and I ended up not liking how it felt and how it held up but this is from Cloud Island and these are like a waffle print or like a waffle material instead of like long sleeve onesies and I love this like this feels so so soft and cozy and warm and I loved like the two different little pink colors and then the pop of yellow so I'm actually really excited about these I was like not sure how they were gonna feel but these feel like they're gonna be nice just for kind of like lounging around really warm and comfy I'm, I'm excited I found those those are from Target and then some more cotton on <laughs> how cute are these little pink jeans oh my gosh I literally could not not yeah these they are like kind of legit looking like they don't have an actual button but they have like pockets and like the little belt loops and stuff like that they have pockets on the bag oh my gosh cutest thing ever and actually kind of speaking of these are not like waffle these are more like ribbed but i just love that material as opposed to just like a plain like a cotton i just feel like the texture is just it's just prettier but also like cozier a lot of the time so i got this little set from cotton on of these little like t-shirts um but they have well they're onesie but like they're t-shirt onesies but i liked the kind of like more defined collar they actually have a button up here too to like open to make it easier to get it on and off but it's like a really nice ribbed material this came in like a little pack and i loved this purple so so pretty and i knew the material was gonna be awesome and it really is so i thought this would be you know a couple like basic little t-shirts to have and you know i had to get this this is also from cotton on and anything like leopard print that i see i'm going to purchase so i saw this little <laughs> sleeper and i had to get it see these like look bigger they're like this is a three to six so maybe these are like meant to be kind of baggy but like don't you feel like that's pretty wide like compared to the like onesies i showed you earlier that were and i know some are meant to be more like a snug fit so maybe that's what it is but like these look nice and roomy i don't know if maybe con on like pjs run kind of big but they're also pretty stretchy like i showed you they have the mittens and the little feet i think i got like a headband 
and like a bib i probably put all that stuff away already but i think i got another bib i really like cotton on bibs i can link down below i've done a cotton on baby haul fairly recently probably in the last couple months since i've been pregnant i'll link that down below because i got bibs and headbands and all kinds of stuff in that video too and so everything is linked that i hauled there so you can check that out if you are wanting to dabble in some cotton on stuff i definitely got some like accessory type things for her as well this is just the clothing there's some more h&m here so i'll go through that really quickly how cute is this little crew neck i love the idea of crew neck sweaters just like chunky knit sweaters on like a baby or a toddler i just feel like that's the cutest thing it's like a really pretty kind of like chunky knit it's got the little collar and i loved kind of like the neutral tones of it and then it's just got like the little buttons in the back and again i feel like kind of like an oversized like kind of like something i would wear like an oversized sweater like a big chunky knit sweater with leggings i feel like that'll be cute on a baby too so i got a couple of those i got that one this is a little bit less of like a chunky knit but still kind of just like a crew neck like a pullover little sweater again pretty gender neutral but i liked the kind of like rollover collar detail and sort of like the heathering and the neutral colors again this is all from h&m and then the buttons down the back as well so cute and i feel like that will be easy to style because you can put like any color little pants or stockings or whatever with it and then this is actually for next christmas they didn't have her like baby size in this but like i could not get it so she'll wear this when she's like, closer to one rather than for her first christmas but i thought this was the cutest little christmas dress with like the very classic just like red and green pattern it's got like banding at the sleeves which is cute and then it's kind of like a little bit tiered as you can tell in the rest of the dress so i feel like this with like some black like patent leather little like saddle shoes or something like that would just be a really perfect little christmas outfit so who knows maybe for her second christmas she's already got her outfit picked out for her i don't even know if i have her for, i have christmasy things but i was actually thinking that earlier i don't know if i have like her first christmas like outfit picked out yet speaking of dresses i really recommend h&m for just really cute like baby and toddler dresses like hello look at this this is almost kind of like vintagey sort of like i don't know 90s sort of style it's got this like lace like ruffle right around the neck it goes all the way around and then it's kind of like a little or gingham whatever kind of pattern again some elastic in the sleeves and just sort of like flared out like kind of swing style i just think this is so precious with like some stockings or something cutest thing i would honestly probably wear <laughs> something like that and same with this next one this next one is like a like a satin or like velvet i guess it would be but look at this little dress it's got like the little peter pan collar this is like the softest thing you've ever felt in your life i kid you not it's got this little peter pan collar but it has like ruffles on the end of the collar and then i love this floral it's so pretty for like the winter and the fall kind of like the darker florals and obviously it's long sleeve i think yeah it's got a little bit of elastic on the sleeves and again just kind of like a swing like flare little style but i thought this was so pretty i would so wear like a top or a dress like this i wish they made like mommy and me <laughs> options and stuff like this so pretty and then honestly this is just carter's but it doesn't even matter because literally anything that says little sister i will purchase or like big brother whenever i see stuff like that i just grab it because i just love the fact that she's a little sister and he's a big brother so i thought this was cute because it's not like overly girly it's like a blue kind of color with the blue florals i am like such a sucker for anything that says sister oh and this is another little h&m find this is just like a little basic crew neck sweatshirt just for like light layering over like a long sleeve onesie or just with like some leggings or something i feel like i always needed like light layering pieces for cole just to kind of like throw over what he was wearing so i thought this would be a cute little crew neck and i just looked through and we're honestly basically done i actually did have one more thing from cotton on which came as like this little set it came on like a little hanger and this is actually newborn size which again is why i'm like so confused because like look at that compared to this is zero to three so theoretically like bigger than newborn and like look how narrow these pjs are compared to <laughs> like this is like a three months like bigger size and i feel like it's multiple inches thinner than this like this this says newborn but like this is huge look how wide that is why is it so boxy i feel like is that wrong like how is that a newborn size i don't even know if i'll put this with her newborn stuff or like i'll probably put it with the zero to three unless it's supposed to be like baggy and kind of oversized like a bubble kind of thing i don't 
like I said, I haven't done a ton of shopping on Cotton On for like baby baby stuff. So I don't know if it's what the style of this is supposed to be. They don't have like babies wearing them like in the pictures, but I liked the style. I love that little print. I think that's actually the same as the PJs I got, this floral one. But I just love that everything has like the little ruffles like on the shoulders. I think that's the cutest thing. This middle one has it as well. It's just like a pink with polka dots. So I snagged that. <laughs> We'll see how that sizing works out. I'm a little confused. And I do have some old navy stuff here, but I don't I don't really see a lot of it. So this might just be random. But I got this little like knitted hat for her. This should fit her. It says like zero to six. So it should fit her during like her first winter. But I just thought this little I mean I wear beanies like this 24-7 in the fall and winter. So I'm sure I have something this color. We can do a little matching moment. <laughs> and then just a couple more HM. Um this is actually Amazon. Ugh, this might run a little bit big on her. She's probably only gonna be like five weeks old maybe for her first thanksgiving but i wanted to get her a really cute little thanksgiving outfit and this um amazon never has sizes on their stuff for whatever reason this is i believe is either a zero to three or a zero to six it was the smallest size that they had but i fell in love with this very it's honestly a pretty thick knit it's got like a really nice kind of like chunky collar sort of a little of that cable knit vibe through the middle and then I think you can tell it sort of like bubbles out. It has like almost like a little waist there where it sort of like flares out and it's just sort of like extra puffy, which I love the bubble look. And then of course it's got like the big um, like ruffles on the shoulders. It's definitely like warm, like this feels heavy and it feels honestly like pretty nice quality, but it just feels like it's gonna be a little bit big. It is, um, it's not like a dress or anything. It does like cinch, it's unbuttoned, but it buttons here in between the legs. So I was imagining this for Thanksgiving with just like some white or like cream color, um, kind of like cable knit looking like stockings, sort of like coming out. So not even like pants, but I just feel like it might be a little bit on the big side. So we'll see. I mean, again, if things were a little oversized, sometimes I feel like that's cute, but this is my vision for Thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll see if she fits, but that's from Amazon. And then, like I said, a couple more things here from H&M. This is another little crew neck, kind of like with Christmas time in mind. This is also kind of like a velvet kind of vibe, like very, very soft, almost like a little bit ribbed. I thought this would be cute. I got like some random packs here with like some leopard and actually has like a little red bow on it. So even just kind of like with some more like patterned pants, nice simple little top this that like doesn't scream like obviously christmas that can be worn anytime but this very much screams christmas i don't know if this is supposed to be for a boy or girl this is actually from cotton on i thought this was h&m this is from cotton on as well and i feel like it could be boyish because it's mickey not mini but at the same time i feel with kind of like the gold like headband it makes it more girly but maybe it's very neutral <laughs> i couldn't tell for sure it's like does not everything's labeled a lot of things are just not labeled or they're just like unisex same thing with old navy i feel like a lot of old navy things say unisex even if they have like flowers on it they still say unisex so whatever but i thought this was cute it's just like a little romper like kind of a one piece so it just kind of pulls over and then buttons at the bottom but it doesn't have any feet so it's not pjs it's definitely like a little romper i thought that was so cute for the christmas time and then last but not least these are just two more kind of like sweatshirt crew neck sort of things this is like a terry cloth material so it's like soft but it's not like particularly warm but i loved the little collar and the little hearts on it and it's just again very like neutral so i feel like it'll be very easy to kind of like match up and style and it's got buttons like on both sides of the back which is kind of random but also kind of like a cute little detail and then um kind of similar to that it has like the same thing with the buttons and it's the same texture, kind of like that terry cloth. It's just got like little, I don't even know, birds or whatever on it. Just some like simple pieces to kind of style. Again, I feel like she has like some fun little like pants and stuff like that. So I feel like having just like some simple tops to kind of like match together. I actually feel like these are really nice. These are from Old Navy and they're kind of like a waffle little legging. I just feel like waffle, like thermal kind of stuff is just really cozy and comfy so yeah i think that's everything that i wanted to share for this video hopefully it wasn't like a crazy long and i'm sure the description box will be long though that's the only thing when i film hauls like this when i do the description box it takes forever but hopefully i'm able to link a good bit of stuff for you guys i'm just i'm so excited for little baby girl clothes and i love getting to share them these videos are really fun for me so i hope that you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and if you would like to subscribe would love to have you we have so much fun here make sure you stay tuned because the nursery reveal slash tour will definitely be coming and i'll see you guys in our next video bye guys yeah.